Συνεχίζουμε στην επόμενη μας συνέντευξη η οποία μας έρχεται από το Βόρειο Λονδίνο και φιλοξενούμε τον πρόεδρο της ΝΕΠΟΜΑ κύριο Χρήστο Τούτον. Ο κύριος Τούτον μας ενημερώνει για όλες τις δραστηριότητες των νέων της ομογένειας και την εθελοντική εργασία που προσφέρουν τα μέλη της ΝΕΠΟΜΑΚ. Επίσης, μιλάει για τις διασυνδέσεις που έχει η ΝΕΠΟΜΑΚ με νέους Κύπρους σε όλο τον κόσμο και πώς γίνεται ο συντονισμός για το κοινό ζητούμενο που είναι το εθνικό θέμα της Κύπρου. Ας παρακολουθήσουμε αυτή την ενδιαφέρουσα συνέντευξη. Φίλες και φίλοι, καλησπέρα. Καλησπέρα από το Hellenic TV. Στη σημερινή μας συνέντευξη φιλοξενούμε τον κύριο Χρήστο Τούτον, ο οποίος είναι ο πρόεδρος της Νεπόμα. Uh, Mr. Tuton, welcome to the Hellenic TV. Thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for having me. So, I think I will start our conversation uh, know some question about you, about your background. For example, what have you studied? What made you... What made you to get involved in Nepomak? Um, so I studied uh, philosophy, politics and economics at the University of York. Um, I currently work for the National Federation of Cypriots in the UK as well as um, volunteering for Nepomak and, and helping run the organization. Um, I got involved about five years ago now. Um, I, went, I was really interested in the Cyprus issue from when I was much younger. Um, and I found that Nebomak was an opportunity to engage with that and, and to make, um, to do more actions and, and try and make a difference on the Cyprus issue and do my small part to, to help um, the diaspora and its struggle for a just and, and viable solution to, to the Cyprus issue. Uh, would you like to say us, just in case for some of our viewers, maybe they don't know or they want to know what is exactly Nepomak and what is the aims of the Nepomak? So Nepomak is the World Federation of Young Overseas Cypriots. Essentially, it's a youth organization for diaspora Cypriots aged 18 to 30. And we, our mission is to connect young Cypriots all around the world. So we're a global organization. We have eight branches across the world. Um, here in the UK, we have America, we have Canada, we have South Africa, we have Greece, we have Australia and New Zealand. We have a Europe branch and also a rest of Africa branch, which is based in Zimbabwe. Um, and what we do is, is we try and connect young Cypriots in, in any way that we can, basically, to keep that community spirit alive, celebrate our culture, um, celebrate our heritage and and bring people together. So can anyone be a member of Nepomak? Or should be, for example, I'm not from Cyprus. Uh, how can I approach you? So you have to be of Cypriot descent to be an official member of the organization. Um, and that's defined by having one, at least one grandparent from Cyprus. And, um, So if you're not of Cypriot descent, we are more than happy for you to, to kind of come to the events that we do and, and the things that we put on. But um, our organization was founded by Cypriots for Cypriots. So, so that's why we have that rule. Well, uh, something I think must be clearly, is a Nepomak a political organization? We... We're not, we're not strictly a political organization, but there are elements of what we do that are political in nature. So um, we support the government of Cyprus's um, aims and, and, and progress towards uh, a just and viable solution to the Cyprus issue and ending Turkey's occupation of the island. And we try and take steps to, to support that as and when we can. A big part of what we do is, is supporting our parent organizations, which are the Cypriot federations around the world, um, such as the National Federation of Cypriots in the UK, and BOMAC, and PSEGA, which is uh, a coordinating organization that, that lobbies um, about the Cyprus issues. So we do have that element to what we do, but it's also kind of coupled with a more cultural and, and connecting Cypriots and keeping the heritage and Um, kind of maintaining our roots whilst being away from the island. 
What the format does now, for example, you know, we're living in a really difficult situation. How does it help our resident? So around the world, this, we, as a global organization, there are very different circumstances all around the world. So some of our branches have seen very low cases of coronavirus and haven't um, had to do very much. So for example, in in Australia, they're starting to ease the restrictions um, because um, they, they're not getting the, they're well past the peak of it and they're not suffering as badly as, as, as say we are in the UK and in America. So in the, in the UK where we do have a lot of um, new cases and the situation is quite bad, our UK branch of Nebomac has started an initiative in coordination with the National Federation of Cypriots in the UK to um, deliver food packages and um, shopping supplies, groceries, picking up um, prescriptions, medicine for the elderly. Um, and because the elderly are told to stay at home, they can't go out to the shop. So we've offered to kind of do some of that, um, picking up groceries and things like that for them. Um, we've got a team of about 50 people who are ready and willing to, to help out the elderly as and when they need it. So uh, we've got people who are taking groceries every week. We've got people who are phoning up elderly people that have got in touch to say that perhaps they're lonely or perhaps they just want someone to talk to. Um, so we've got people who are doing that as well. Um, and that's fantastic. So it, it really means that we can give something back to the generation that gave us so much and gave us our opportunities in life. Um, so, so that's what we've been doing. Um, and if people, if there are young people who want to join our team of volunteers, then they should get in touch with us and um, they can email either info at nebelmac.org, which is our main email address as an organization, or they can send us a message on social media um, and we'll provide them with the form that they need to fill in and um, they can join our, our list and, they, and if there's an opportunity for them to help out uh, somebody elderly or vulnerable, then we'll let them know about that. Um, and also, if you know somebody who, who is in need of help, they can get in touch as well um, and we can connect them to a volunteer to, to help them. Um, also, I should say as well that the National Federation of Cypriots in the UK is doing a very similar initiative, but the aim is to get free food packages donated by the John Christodoulou Foundation um, to the, those most in need in our community. So that could be the elderly, it could be the vulnerable, it could be people with medical conditions, it could be... Um, people who have, have lost their jobs and have nothing and can't put food on the table for, for their family. So that initiative is, is aimed at those people who are in real need to give them free food packages. And we have seen on your website, you have created two programs for all the professional people in UK. So we have this Nepomak Discovery Cyprus program and Nepomak Cyprus Culture Trip. How can this program have been affected by COVID-19 pandemic? Unfortunately, they've had to be cancelled because of, because of the situation. Um, it's the first time that we've had to cancel it since they've been running, which is a real shame. Um, and so many people were looking forward to, to going this year and they, they have their spots and they, they kind of anticipated that the trips would be happening and it was something to look forward to. So it's, it's a real shame that, that we've had to cancel it, but we felt that it was the right thing to do and the sensible thing to do given the circumstances. I think it's, we don't, we don't know what the situation will look like in July when these trips would have happened, but we thought that given that there's so much uncertainty and we don't want this virus to spread because of our actions and because of people that have taken part in Neville Match trips. We thought that it was in the best interest of everyone that we cancelled. Um, and obviously, one of our major considerations was not just 
the participants on the trip um, becoming ill because that's really important, obviously, but even more so their elderly relatives that they might stay with before or after the trip, which a lot of people go to Cyprus, they don't have anywhere to stay except with their Yaya and Bapu um, and other elderly relatives. So we, we were really worried that people would spread the disease potentially. I mean, you never know, but there's always a, a chance to those elderly relatives and that could be quite dangerous. Um, so that's so that was a big part of our thinking. And also we are very kind of aware that this is a difficult time for people. People have lost their family members, unfortunately. Um, people have lost jobs as well. So financial constraints mean that they might not really want to be going to Cyprus um, uh, or on holiday at all. So, so we thought that all of these things taken together meant that the right thing for us to do was to cancel the trips this year. And you know, it's a real shame, but I think given the circumstances, it was, it was the only option really. What happened if you were due to go on off the trip? So people who were due to go for the 2020 editions, which have been cancelled, we're going to give them the option to use their spot next year. So they'll be able to go in 2021 instead of 2020. And um, that means that, there, I mean, there are, no, there are really no conditions to that if you're slightly over age um, next year, but you would have been eligible and had a spot this year, then we'll relax that and, and make sure that those people do still get the opportunity and that the opportunity isn't taken from them because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And if anyone has any more questions about that, we've recently done a Q&A on, on our Instagram that has a lot of different questions and, and kind of information that people might be looking for. Um, and again, if people want to ask further questions, they can get in touch through any of our social media platforms, which is at Nebelmac, or by email, info at nebelmac.org. Are Nebelmac offering any virtual events or virtual learning opportunities at this moment? Yeah, so, so in order to try and keep up what we're doing and maintain our culture and keep people connected, which is our aim, we've... Um, the different branches have put on virtual events. Some have been more cultural focused, uh, looking at sharing information about kind of Easter um, and different celebrations that have happened and um, dancing. People have been sharing things about the Cypriot dialect um, on social media. So that's been really informative and it's a good opportunity for people to kind of learn more about Cyprus from their homes. And um, also the branch has been putting on virtual events such as um, like a keep fit class. The South Africa branch did some exercises and neck stretches and back stretches and things like that to keep people moving. Um, and the UK branch, for example, has done a, uh, it's, it's done a, a live music event. Uh, somebody, kind of it was on facebook live somebody sat and, and did an acoustic uh, session and sung some songs both in english and greek and they're going to do a, a kind of pub quiz style um event in may so that's something to look forward to as well so that will be that will be great we'll, we'll, people will get into teams and there'll, there'll be a, a quiz master asking questions and we'll get some competitive spirit going which will be nice it's something fun and relaxed to do um so 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 things like that have have happened um we've, we're also looking at um virtual things that we do anyway as an organization which are still available so for example we have a distance learning greek language class uh, that's starting through the open university of cyprus and people I mean, can study the Greek language and learn the Greek language from their homes. And, the, and we've been doing that since, since the start of last year. So now it's going to be, I think the demand is even more for this kind of thing because people won't be able to go out to, to classes and take part in these things. And they might be a bit hesitant to do that going forwards over the next few months. So we've got that available as well. 
So, so we've been trying to trying to keep up what we're doing through social media, which is a fantastic platform to to really propel what we're doing and um, trying to keep in touch with everyone and making sure that people still have the same enjoyment and opportunity to connect with their heritage and with the organization as they did before. Would you like to say a few words to our viewers? I'm um, just to say that um, please keep safe, keep well and stay at home. We, we still don't know how this thing's going to develop, especially here in the UK. It's very uncertain times. I hope that things start to look a bit more positive over the next few weeks and months, but it's obviously a very, very difficult and challenging time. Um, I guess something else I, I'd like to mention as well is that we as an organization have been working on um, scholarship opportunities for people. So obviously, as I mentioned earlier, people are struggling at the moment. They might have lost their job. They might have be losing out on paychecks. Um, and they might be thinking about what are the next steps and they have a lot of uncertainty about what to do next. So we're trying to put together a, a package of scholarships with universities in Cyprus that are offering distance learning opportunities for degrees and also undergraduate and postgraduate degrees and also short classes as well. So we're trying to, we, I mean, we've got some agreements with the universities through the government of Cyprus and through the presidential commissioner. Um, so we're, that, that's all available on our website as well, at, which is www.nebelmac.org forward slash scholarships. So if people are thinking about what are their next steps, how are they going to get back into the job market, how are they going to advance, uh, maybe learn some new skills, get some new qualifications, and we do have that as well. So I'd advise people to, to kind of think about that as well and their next steps. Um, but yeah, I mean, main message is really stay at home, stay safe, look out for each other um, and try and make a difference somehow. Look after your neighbours, look after your, your elderly family members, look after your friends, check in on people and just more than ever, we need our community and we need to, to look out for each other. So that would be my message. Mr. Tutton, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for answering our question. Thank you.